What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP. You know the keys in this too. Easy back from the video today. You know Sunday is always the Love Thy Neighbor Day. And I finished the script for the History of the Biggest Villains. I'm going to be recording that soon. I finished the script finally. It took me like four days. It was like, it's like four pages. So it's going to be a lot. Okay. But we got to Love Thy Neighbor today. Uh, I really appreciate y'all's support. All the, all the comments, subscriptions, or the likes on the channel. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get to it, man. Love thy neighbor. Walk up and say how be ya. Gee, but I'm glad to see a pal house tricks. What's new? Love thy neighbor. A great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. Well, there's something wrong with it. I still can't get a darling tone. Look, shut up about the telephone, will you? I'll report it when I go down to the club. <laughs> Are you looking for something? Yes. Can't find my TV times. I've cancelled it. Ordered the Radio Times instead. The Radio Times? I thought it meant a nice change. I don't want a nice change. I want my TV Times. This is no good to us. There's no programmes in it. Of course there is. It's full of programmes. All right. All right, clever clogs. You get me on the buses in there. <laughs> it's not in there. Ah, there you are, you see. That's no good to us. Doesn't tell you what's on, love. <laughs> Tells you what's on the BBC. The B we never watched the BBC. Well, it's time we started. It's cultural. It's rubbish. <laughs> Not worth paying the licence money for. We haven't got a licence. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. It's because we watch the ITV. I'm not paying for something I don't see. Eddie. The licence is for the television set, not just to watch BBC. But it's the BBC that gets the money, love. ITV's free. <laughs> the other thing is a channel of the working classes. BBC's more for toffee-nosed Tory twits. <laughs> There's some very good programmes on the BBC. Uh, yeah, name me one. Go on, name me one. The Foresight Saga. A lot of old cobblers, that was. <laughs> <laughs> was just as good as your rotten coronation streak. Oh, dear, <laughs> uh, Get away. That fella Soames is not a patch on them, Fairclough. <laughs> no, no. ITV is a channel for the masses. We're only going to look at the ratings. What ratings? The television ratings. See my paper every Saturday. And who's at the top every Saturday? ITV. Oh, no. <laughs> what about Till Death Us Do Part? Bun. Till Death Us Do Part was number one. Was it a give up? It was. In your paper, 20 million viewers, they said. BBC propaganda. <laughs> Wait, are they talking about? Are they, they talking about till death do his part? Because they, they they had to switch the they had to switch the words around. <laughs> I like that jab. Not really a jab. It's like a mention of another TV program. Because like that was really like that was almost a decade before this anyway. Because this was the, that was the mid sixties. Yeah. Nobody watches that rubbish. Too crude. <clears throat> It's an insult to every intelligent person. Shall I tell you why? Oh, carry on, Lord Longford. Well, for, a, for a start, there's too much bloody swearing in it. <laughs> Supposed to be realistic. Realistic rubbish. Good God Almighty. I mean, no, but not ordinary people don't swear every time they open their mouths, do they? You do. <laughs> well, bloody don't, you know. Sometimes I don't think you know when you are swearing. Another thing. What about him? Him? Him. Alf Garnet. Don't tell me he's realistic. I mean, he's a loud mouth, ignorant bigot. Okay. <laughs> Ain't that the popcorn the kettle black? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's one to no one. Hmm. Do you mind, please? I might have my faults, but prejudice is not one of them. May God forgive you. Hmm. I mean, He's always calling people coons. Well, that's not very nice, is it? And insultingly calls somebody a coon. And another thing, Alf Garnet is a Tory. What a 
of it. <laughs> what of it? Where would you find an only working class fella who's a Tory? Bill next door, he's a Tory. <laughs> That's because he's a nick dog. <laughs> you talk about Alf Garnet. You're just as bad as he is. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I beg to differ. I do not expound my opinions on the television in front of 20 million viewers. <laughs> oh, that was BBC propaganda. Don't change the subject. I'd my way, I'd ban the BBC, you know. Oh, a little. Uh. <laughs> All right, you laughing. I give you Mary Whitehouse, you know. The BBC needs cleaning up. There's far too much sex on it. No more than on our TV. Now, that is where you're wrong, love. Look at Coronation Street. Twelve years that's been on, and not once have you seen Ina Sharples in bed with a fella. <laughs> In future, I'm going to buy you black socks. Why? So that when you get a hole in them, it won't show. Oh, my God. Bobby, that's a racial joke. Oh, no, it's not. It's only a racial joke if a white person tells it. Well, I don't think it's funny, eh? Huh? Oh, well, do you think this one's funny? A white fella said to his black friend, Why do you wear white gloves in the cinema? And the black friend said, so that I can see my chalk eyes. <laughs> oh. oh. Come on, you're beginning to song just like a female Charlie Williams. Well, that's where I heard it, on The Comedians. <laughs> Why on earth you want to watch rubbish like that for? I like The Comedians. Look, baby, it's a racialist program. They poke fun at blacks. So... They poke just as much fun at white people. Uh-uh, no, that's different. They deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's being prejudiced? Look, Bobby, I'm... Oh, forget it. Anyway, what do you expect from ITV? They cater for the lowest possible taste, like that white honky next door. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, there you are. That's it. Fully connected now. Uh, could you sign me docket, please? Yep. Our own telephone, and it's black, too. No, uh, well, he could have had a coloured one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look, mate, black is a colour. No, 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 not for phones, no. Black's standard. Everything else is coloured. Even white? Yes. As far as the GPO are concerned, white's coloured. <laughs> That's what I call a real progressive outlook, eh? <laughs> you, uh, want to phone your, um, party line? I've written it in your code book. Yeah, thank oh. you. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, cheerio. I'll see myself out. Right. Don't, uh, don't make too many calls to Africa, will you? <laughs> oh, God. We don't need to, mate. We communicate with Tom Toms. <laughs> Big mm. white twit. <laughs> I think I'll phone them. Phone who? Our party line. I'd like to introduce ourselves. No, no need to do that, Bobby. Oh, yes, we do. I'd like to find out what sort of people we're sharing with. <laughs> Hello, Eddie Boo there. <laughs> Who was it? You never guess. You want a bit? <laughs> mm -hmm. All the people to share a phone with. Well, I suppose you better let them know. Yeah, might as well. They'll find out sooner or later. Which one of us is going to tell them? Aren't you going to tell him? Not me. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to tell him. I'll phone Joan. She'll tell him. After all, she's used to all that bad language. <laughs> working now? No, love. All I'm getting is a lot of clicks. Maybe you're being backed by the Tories. <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> hey, Bill. I think I've got a cross line. I dialed and nothing happened, and then this man came on. <coughs> Hello? Are you still there, darling? <laughs> yes. You, uh, you sound very sexy, whoever you are. Hey, what is he saying? He's chatting me up. Oh, well, hang up, no man. Oh, no, I like it. <laughs> Are you still there, gorgeous? Oh, my God, oh, Bobby is sick. <laughs> it's going to turn into something too. I already know. I am still here, darling. Is it working now? 
The phone. Uh, oh, yes, love, yes, it's working now. Who are you talking to? Uh, the, the operator. <laughs> I'm just going to nip next door. Yeah, yeah, what well, a good idea, yes. I won't be long. It's all right. Yeah, take your time, love. Don't rush back for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Are you still there? Yes, gorgeous. Barbie? Uh, just a minute when I get a cigarette. What's the matter? I wish you'd hang up. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I don't like you talking to strange men on the phone. It's only a bit of fun. <laughs> See you to the door, love. Are you still there, love? Sorry about that. That's all right, Chucky. A guy I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what are you doing tomorrow night? You're a fast worker. <laughs> well, they don't call me Speedy Gonzalez for nothing. <laughs> oh. uh, just a minute. I must get a cigarette. Another? We only connected us about ten minutes ago, and already we have a cross line. You're lucky. Ours wasn't even working. There's a man in here trying to make a date with me. Oh, Kinky. Have a listen. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Hello, darling. <laughs> what about tomorrow night? Well, I am game if you are. I'll meet you outside the Roxy at half past seven. Uh, yeah. Wait, tell me, how will I recognize you? <laughs> I'm blonde. <laughs> <laughs> 38, 26. 36. Bloody Nora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. She really gave him the measurements, too. <laughs> hold on, I gotta see. What, what is a. Hold on. Oh, so I'm li I was looking at where the party line was because I didn't know what it was. Because, you know, I'm like. I'm like young. So it's like multiple people sharing the same circuit because, like, they're subscribed to a certain telephone service. Okay, so it's like. They're all connected on one line. Okay. Pity both, is that you? <laughs> Pardon? It is you. You've got a nerve. Trying to chat someone up on a phone. You wait till I get home. You won't talk your way out of this in, Harry. Oh, goodness gracious me, madam. <laughs> I am afraid you're getting your lines crossed. You are talking to somebody altogether different. Goodbye. <laughs> Look, how many times have I got to tell you? It wasn't another woman, it was Barbie. You didn't know that. Of course I did. Blimey. Surely you don't think I'm the sort of fellow who would run off with another woman, do you? Not really, love. Don't you? <laughs> no, I do. Thank you, love. No other woman would be daft enough to have you. <laughs> oh. Do you believe it? There's many women who'd be glad to have me. Yes. Well, next Christmas I'll raffle you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you writing? I'm writing to the Postmaster General. You're not complaining about the phone bill again. I'm complaining at the invasion of our privacy. To wit, sugar goes on a party line with a nignog. What difference does it make? All the difference in the world, love. <laughs> you want Sambo to listen to every conversation I have on the phone? If there's any listening in to be done, my money's on you. Well, you can listen to this one. I'm going to phone my MP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we only just had the phone installed, Clyde. Hey, you better take down our number. 329. Hello. Is that you, Sambo? <laughs> hey, Eddie. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a phone call. Yes, well, I wish to make a phone call of national importance. So get off the line. You get off yourself. I was on the line first. I had the telephone first, and why it takes precedence over black? Oh, no, not on this line. No, get off! Don't you talk to me, you great black chocolate drop. <laughs> Honky. Don't get it. We'll soon see about that, son. 
<laughs> a chocolate drop. Oh, Clyde, sorry about that, brother. A oh, white party line is getting all uptight. Oh, no, I think he's at the door. Hold on a minute. Bill, oh, anyone have a word Hello. with you? Are you going to get off that phone or not? No, I won't. No, you listen to me, Eddie Booth. I don't like this any more than you do, but we got to share this line. So you can shout your head as much as you want. There's nothing you can do about it, right? Oh, isn't it? We'll soon see about that. Uh. Here we are, Eddie. Here's oh. your tags. Thank you, Zill. Put them last night, will you? Can you just cut the line? Trophy room will be bulging. <laughs> just like a bad luck, you know, that's the trouble. Aye. Aye. Cheers, then. God bless. Good out. <laughs> have you, uh, have you booked your holidays yet, Arthur? Yeah, first two weeks in July. Oh, good chores, Eddie. Yes, I've got a week in March and a week in August. What are you having, Jacko? Mm. Oh, Alava. <laughs> <laughs> He's got them in. Oh, hey, cheers. <laughs> Talking about holidays. When are you having holidays? November. <laughs> <laughs> November? Yeah, well, I thought uh, I'd have a winter holiday this year. Very fashionable, Jacko. <laughs> yeah. Follow the sun. Yes, yes, very nice. Be lovely, you know, wouldn't it? In November to get away from all the fog and all the damp. And all yeah, that. mind you, you're doing the world of good. I wish I was going. So do I. Lovely, wasn't it? A two weeks spent on some exotic beach, soaking up the sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where about you going, Jacko? Clacton. <laughs> Clacton? In November? <laughs> well, it won't be so crowded then. <laughs> no, 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 I grant you that. I'll tell you what, you shouldn't have much trouble getting a deck chair in November. <laughs> Hmm. All right. All right. Eddie, this is for you. All right. What's that then? The bill for reconnecting my telephone. Come here, Eddie. Hey, come here. I'm not paying that. What's your game? You cut the wire, you pay the bill. And look, now my phone is working. I don't want you listening to my conversations, right? I've got better things to do than listen to a lot of natter and nig nogs. Good. <laughs> Great black twit. <laughs> what is that, Eddie? Nothing. <laughs> you'll have to pay it, Eddie. Why should I? Because you're in the wrong. Look, even if he is a samba, you can't go around chopping off his instrument. Whoa! <laughs> well, he shouldn't be on my party line, should he? It's supposed to be a private telephone, you know. How can he be private when you've got a great big black lug hole listening in? Oh, oh my God! God. Can I have one bill before you go? Uh, uh, not for me. Change your mind. I've got a few phone calls to make. What about you, Eddie? You want another one? No, thank you, Arthur. I've changed your mind. I've got a few phone calls to listen to. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just going in. <laughs> I knew if I told Honky not to listen, he'd do just the opposite. Hey, hey Clyde, he's coming in. Hey, don't forget, leave all the talking to me, all right? Hello, oh, love. I'm home. Oh, sure. Why did you expect? Don't you know, always have someone in when you go to the club. <laughs> Monday it's the milkman, Wednesday the window cleaner, and Saturday Sean Connery pops in. What would Sean Connery do with you? Anything he wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> what are you doing? Shh. It's the Eddie Booth black bugging system. Is it listening to people's conversations? It's not people, love. It's Sambo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, Clyde. Listen very carefully, eh? Yeah? We better... No, no, first of all, let's synchronise our watches. I make it 25 past. What time you make it? Half past. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember, this is top secret, eh? Code word, Operation Honky. <laughs> hey, hey, from now on, we are only using code names. I am Dumbo, you Mickey Mouse, and Eddie Booth is Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> no. Operation commences 11 o'clock tonight sharp. Dumbo and Mickey Mouse will hijack Snow White, eh? Snow White? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> John. John. Gonna be hijacked. <laughs> I've just heard Dumbo talking on the phone to Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Love, they're going to 
Why, Jack Snow White? Oh, don't worry, Eddie. The seven dwarfs will look after him. Oh, my God! I don't mean that, Snow White. Which Snow White do you mean? Me? I'm Snow White. <laughs> what have you been drinking down at club? I am not drunk. Don't you realise I'm going to be hijacked? Come off it. Who's going to hijack you? It's a daughter. Leading political figures are hijacked and held to ransom. You are not a leading political figure. I'm chairman of the entertainment subcommittee. <laughs> Beg your pardon. I wonder how much ransom they'll ask for me. I don't know, but if it's any more than 50p, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> No way he went to the police. Oh my god. He went to the police. Oh. 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 Excuse me, constable. Sergeant. <laughs> yes, so what can I do for you? I wish to report a hijacking. Hijacking? Where did this happen? Hasn't happened yet, but already been planned on the telephone. <laughs> Doris, get the DRO in here quick. Tompkins! <laughs> Get the duty officer, it's urgent. Uh, uh, super, um, could you come to the desk? It's, it's rather urgent, sir. <laughs> See out of your room, I want Watkins and Barker in here. It's an alert. Right. <laughs> really? Get all this down, Tompkins. Sir, this gentleman has overheard the details of a proposed hijack. Right? Yes. Nothing, sir. Do you know which airport is involved? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plane already in flight, is it, sir? No. Look, sir, we're not here to play 20 questions. Where is the hijack going to take place? Maple Terrace. <laughs> Maple Terrace? Number 104. And what, may I ask, is going to be hijacked? Me. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Yeah, All right, I'll forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be hijacked, are you? Yes. They're coming for me. That's 11 o'clock. Will they be wearing white coats? <laughs> oh. No, no. You don't understand. You see, Sambo and another Nignog. I demand peace protection. Are you going to do anything about it? Yes. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get out of here. Otherwise, you may not be hijacked, but you will be assassinated. <laughs> get out. You'll be sorry when they get me. Get out! <laughs> Maybe a race like anybody else. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we don't half get them. I suppose they want to send somebody around. Johnson, come in here. I've got just a job for you. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god! <laughs> I can already see it now. He's like, we said. Hey, Joan, they sent, they, sent, they sent a nick dog after me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, Eddie, you can't stay here. I'm closing, so you best drink up. I'm not going home to be nabbed by a nick dog. What's good with you, Arthur? No, I'm sorry, Eddie, dear. There's nowhere for you to sleep except with the wife's mother. <laughs> and I think you'd be better off being hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Jacko? I love half. <laughs> <laughs> we'll carve that on your bloody tombstone. I was asking you to put him up. Put him up where? <laughs> For the night! Never mind, Arthur. By the time we get through to him, we'll be bloody morning. I'm not going home. It's no use. Tell him, Marvin. It was all a joke. Oh, hi. Bill was only paying you back for cutting off his phone. Yes, yeah, try pulling the other one. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Ah, get off! Get off! <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Eddie's a policeman. Now, look here, Sambo. You can't fool Eddie Booth. You are Dumbo. And he's Mickey Mouse. And this is Operation Lucky. <laughs> but cut this from Snow White! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, man. You police. Knock it off, will you? Oh, we are touching.
Actually, aren't we? Well, if we don't want to get fined, we shouldn't go squirting soda in policemen's faces, should we? The subject is closed. So as long as you think it was worth it. Yes, it was. Matter of fact, Sambo and me have come to an arrangement about that telephone. I don't believe it. It's true, look. <laughs> we have got exclusive rights from this phone from 6 o'clock till 9 o'clock. And from 9 o'clock to midnight, Mr and Mrs Sambo can use it. <laughs> wow. What time is it now? 9 o'clock. Good. I thought you just told me after 9 o'clock it was Bill and Barbie's turn to use the phone. It is. But the Edibood Black Booking System is back in business. <laughs> hey, honky's at it again. for watching mm. leave a like if you enjoyed that subscribe button if you to the channel don't forget to turn on my post notifications thank you so much for the support um hit that subscribe button if you to the channel like button i'm out i mean have a great day stay on the grind be safe out here peace <laughs>